Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try these El Monterey Steak and Cheese Taquitos. Uh, America's number one flour taquito. Uh, there are 10, 20 in the box, and that's what they kind of look like from the picture at least. Um, this box is a 20 ounce box, or 1.25 pounds, so it's a big box for 20. Uh, we bought them at Kroger, they were $7.99, but you do get 20 of them, so keep that in mind. Um, okay, let me turn you up here. So for three taquitos, which is what the serving is, um, it's 230 calories, which is not awfully bad, honestly. There's your other info if you want it. And let's see, to make these, you got a couple different directions. Let me turn it down. So you can do air fryer or oven. We don't do either one of those, but you could if you wanted to. Normally you don't have those at work. That's why we don't do ovens or air fryers, but you usually do have a microwave at work. So we're going to, um, and you do this, uh, if you want a crisper, of course, doing the air fryer or the, or the oven. Um, let's see, but it does have microwave directions, so they're saying we can do it. So you're going to place three taquitos on a microwave safe plate. I've just got a paper plate here. Um, from frozen, which is the only directions it gives, one minute and 15 seconds, and then let them sit for one minute before you eat them. So um, we got three of them for, um, yeah, 150. Okay. I'm assuming, I'm guessing they're in a bag of some kind. They may just be sitting in here, but no, they're in a bag. Kind of off figured. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this. like that and I'm just reaching here and grab three. There's one, two, and three. And this is what they look like. See stuff in there. So I'm gonna get these in the microwave and uh, I'll be back. All right so here they are out of the microwave and I'm just gonna cut it in half. More pull it apart. Just kind of let you see what's inside of it. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually going to pull all these apart, let them cool off a little bit. So I'm going to take these over the table, let them sit for a minute to cool off because it's really hot, and I'll be right back. Okay, right, hopefully they've cooled off enough to um, to actually eat them without burning my mouth off. <laughs> They're definitely a softer um, texture than you would get in the oven or the air fryer. Because the oven and the air fryer really does get them like crispy on the outside. Whereas the microwave, they're really soft, almost like a, um, a soft taco or a burrito. That's kind of more the texture you get um, with these. They're, they're not bad texture. I, I kind of like the soft taco. I love a soft taco anyway. So this gives you that soft taco feel. They're just smaller. Um, so I don't think they're bad. Just know that they, they will definitely get crispier if you do them in the oven or the air fryer. I'll also say the texture is a little bit more um, chewy than they would be if you just had a soft taco. So if you just had a, a regular flour tortilla and you heated it up for a few seconds in the microwave and used it as a, a soft taco shell, um, it would be much softer than these. These have just a little bit of a chewy, not rubbery really, but just a little bit of a chewiness to them um, on the outside. That, uh, that wouldn't be the same with like a soft taco um, or if you bake them. So just keep that in mind. Um, the flavors though, I really do like the flavors. They have more of a, I don't get steak at all. I mean, I'm sure there may be little pieces of steak in here, but as far as tasting steak, I don't taste steak. I don't even taste meat, to be honest with you. All I get is um, is really just peppers, like the seasonings. I get the, the peppers and maybe a little bit of onion and um, whatever spices they use. Like a, it almost tastes like a, um, a fajita kind of spice um, in here, or maybe even taco seasoning. Again, very similar to a burrito, honestly. With the exception of the outside being a little more chewy. Almost like an egg roll. If you can think about an egg roll, this the outside of these are almost remind you of an egg roll a little bit. If you were to microwave them. Overall, not bad, honestly. Um, for being in the microwave, when they're probably better in the oven, uh, for being in the microwave, get a little bit softer texture. They actually turn out pretty good. The flavors for me are a little flat. Um, it's just, it's really just peppers more than anything. I wish there was a lot more um, 
stake in these. I know they're trying to be, they gotta be cheaper um, to save some money, but this, the, you don't, I don't get the texture of steak, don't taste steak, don't taste meat at all. Um, I'm sure, like I said, it's in there, but I, I just don't get it. I'm gonna give these though a three and a half out of five. They're a little bit better than average. I really do like the flavors. I would, I would eat more than three, honestly. I'd probably, if I were to bake them, I'd probably bake six and um, or more um, to to actually eat. But if you're wanting a little bit lower calorie, what is it, 230? Yeah, 230 for three. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give them a three and a half out of five. I think they're good. They're worth trying out if you like these kind of things. If you put it in the oven, like I said, I think it'll be a little bit better. Um, at least texture-wise. I don't know if the flavor will change any, but the texture will. Um, someone did recommend these to me. I didn't have the name to write down, but uh, thank you for recommending these to me. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.